car seats and it was going to take time for me to get them out of the car seat. And um, they just told me, he said, but I won't hurt them. And he just took off. But he had a gun and then my, my big thing is that they were screaming, hollering, and crying. And I'm just scared that he just lost his patience or something. I you know? plead yeah. to the guy, to the man, me and my wife, plead to him to please return our children to us safely and unharmed. We love our children very much and we want them returned to us safe and sound. Was last seen wearing a red and white striped outfit and a blue and red coat. admitted killing her sons, three-year-old Michael and Alexander, who was just over a year old. The Union County Sheriff says Smith is repentant and heartbroken. Her car was pulled from a murky lake Thursday. The bodies of the boys were strapped in the back seat. An autopsy revealed the boys were not killed beforehand. They drowned. Susan Smith has been arrested and will be charged with two counts of murder in connection with the deaths of her children, Michael, three, and Alexander, 14 months. The vehicle, a 1990 Mazda, driven by Smith, was located late Thursday afternoon in Lake John D. Long, near Union. Two bodies were found in the vehicle's back seat. Identities are pending and autopsy. I just don't want them to believe that somehow what the mother did in any way diminishes quality, the character, the courage of what they did. And um, so my thoughts and prayers are with them today. And I would hope the American people would feel that way as well. I think we were all moved and deeply impressed by how that community responded in this awful turn of events. South Carolina law, we have a number of ag aggravating circumstances that would allow it to be a death penalty case, but again, it's my policy to not just shoot from the hill until I've seen all the facts, I haven't read all the reports. We do not understand 